Hey guys, my name is Dan Hood. Um, I'm proud owner of a GE combination here. I'll let you look at a combination oven, microwave. Um, this oven is about 16, 17 months old. Um, this panel started acting up, just one side of it acted up. Um, so I looked a little bit on YouTube and various things. And they said that sometimes the cables come loose or the cables get corroded. Um, I'm in Georgia, so there's a lot of humidity. That's no surprise. So you can see I pulled it all apart. And sure enough, let me get, let me get this video better for you. You'll see these clips down here and the clips up here. Let me just get it all focused better for you. You got to make sure now you can see that some of these have pulled loose when I when I pulled it out. You can see that one's a little loose when I pulled it out back there. And this one popped loose. Okay. I'll put that back in before I put it back together. Okay, you can see there. But when I open this, this one was partially lifted up. It was sitting at an angle. So I've pushed it all the way back down. I may pop these screws loose. Since I already have this thing open, it's not very many screws to take it loose and lift it up and make sure everything underneath is plugged in tight, although it appears to be. I suspect it was that plug that was bad, so I got all of that sorted. Um, I don't really want to turn it on with, you know, with it all open because this is, this is 220. You don't want to be messing with it if you don't have to. But I want to show you guys how you actually take this out because it's not easy. There's several videos out there, but they're for older models that were a lot easier to take apart. Anyway, first order of business, you have to pull the oven partially out, okay? The way you do that is there's a screw here and a screw there, okay? They go into the side of the wood. You just open this oven door. You can also, there's various ways to teach you how to take this oven, how to take this oven door off if you want. I didn't. There's four screws, two on that side, two on that side. Now, I was able to lean mine far enough forward I could work on it, so I just stuck a shoe in. Uh, you can use a wedge, anything, something to hold it out nice. I might have to straighten that panel when I get done because it's a heavy oven. And I took this panel off. Um, they just look like this. Uh, they're nothing fancy. You got the bottom pops into a hole, top's got a screw, um, just Phillips head, okay. I took that loose because you do, you don't really need to take it off, but your life is a whole lot simpler if you do, because there's a screw back here you gotta take loose, which you take loose through this hole. Uh, let me get to the right hole, this hole. And the problem is, is unless you have a really good magnetic screwdriver or you can really line it up well, it's almost impossible to see. And you can see it goes in right there. Okay. So you gotta, you gotta get it up through the hole. Whereas if you just take this panel out, you see my finger comes up right here and you can stick your finger in, you can grab it. Okay. So that's the first secret. Okay. Next secret. There's a screw here, a screw here, and a same screw over here. Let me zoom back out and show you where they are, okay? So you can see them from way back here, here, middle, that side, okay? Oh, it gets better, okay? So now you've got all of those, but then there's this screw that goes in this way. Now, as you can see, unless you pull the oven out, there's not much space. Now, you can go about pulling the oven out entirely, or you can go buy one of these at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's a little ratcheting screwdriver that goes sideways, 90 degrees. They're about $10 or less, okay? Just put it in, and then you don't have to have any space on the back. That's how I pulled those two screws out. So in the end, here's what you got to get loose, okay? You got to get the four screws down there loose to pull the oven out. Then you got to get 
One, two, three, four, five, then six, and seven, and then you gotta lift the panel to unclip these three spots. Or four, oh, wait, there's a fourth one back here somewhere, I think, isn't there? Yeah, there's the fourth one. Okay, those just lift out. Then you go in, tighten everything, and you gotta reverse the process to put it all back together. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? This is a GE combination. Let me back up so you can see it. Combination microwave and let's focus it. Combination microwave and oven. Now I'm hoping that that's done it. I'm going to reassemble it, drop it back in place. Try the microwave once I fire up the power again, but I don't want to do it with it all open like this. Anyway, take care guys. Hope that helps.